In the previous video we looked at drawing curves with the pen tool and essentially the difference between just simply this anchor point and this one. The fact that this one has got handles on it makes it curved. So to continue with that, uh, just so this works nicely, um, you would snap to grid ordinarily and usually you'd use the view show grid and snap to grid commands. But uh, in this current version of Illustrator, so I'm using the October 2014 version, uh, they've stopped um, you snapping to the grid when you use the pen and to drag handles uh, for some strange reason that I can't fathom, but that's what they've done, so I've had to create my own grid so you can see this working. So with the straight lines, it doesn't really require much, much explanation, but simply I'm snapping the grid here. That's pretty obvious, I would think. And the reason it's obvious is that you know where the anchor points are. But if we look instead at this one, if you're not accustomed to using the pen and drawing curves, that might look intimidating. But essentially the anchor points are in exactly the same place as the previous one. So the only difference is what happens here. So the previous one is simply drawn, simply clicking like that, whereas to draw the one above, it's the difference between simply clicking to draw just an ordinary straight line, as opposed to here, clicking, keeping the mouse button down and dragging. And again, because of the grid that we're snapping to, we get a perfect quarter of a curve like that. So again, rather than clicking, you're clicking and dragging to create the shape. So as I said last time, half the battle with curves is knowing where the anchor points are, and then the other half is knowing what to do with the handles. So just to go through that again, once you know where the anchor points are, if you don't know what to do with the handles, well just kind of keep trying it until you get it right. And obviously with the with the grid or my fake grid here, it's nice and easy to, to get it accurate when you want it. So you'll simply let go there. But if you do go wrong, you would simply undo and try it again. So again, click and drag. Let me just say a bit more about that. What happens for a lot of people is that they will, rather than click and drag like that, they'll click and drag to where they're going next. Now that makes sense because when you learn to draw, when you learn to write, you go directly with your pen to where you're going next. So this is pretty counterintuitive, but it's fine once you get the hang of it. So work out where the anchor points are, and then snap to the appropriate place for the handle. Okay, so once you're okay with that, shapes like this start to become pretty straightforward, because I can, I'm sure you can see the anchor point. We've got one here, we've got one here, we've got one here. So just to draw that really quickly. Start here. So click and drag up like that. And then that's a simple click. Click. And then click and drag like that. So the grid, really, really useful if you've not work with this before and you want some guidance so that's view show grid and snap to grid although currently that's not available in the cc uh, version from june onwards